the channel. I, have, I know I haven't made a video in, a, in about 10 months or so. But we're making one today, and I got a review we're going to do on a uh, budget AR build that I've done. And I decided to go with the budget budget build just to see how cheap an AR could be built for, and would it be good enough, would it be reliable. And that's what we're going to be talking about today. So, we got this AR build right here, and I will do price breakdowns and whatever, but... You know, nothing too crazy, but just a little fun little build. My preference, I would never go with like red accents and stuff like that. In my opinion, they're a little, they're a little tacky. But like I said, it was just a little fun build. Um, this is already been safety checked. There's no round on the chamber. Magazine over here. So we're gonna go ahead and start with the upper receiver. So let me go ahead and. Take this apart. All right, so here we got the upper receiver. Now we're gonna start with the front. It's just a A2 bird cage flash hider. Nothing too fancy there. This one coming in at, I believe I picked it up at 25. No, yeah, I think 25, 25 bucks. So nothing too crazy there. Um, the barrel, however, I do not know what brand it is. Which could be a little sketchy there, um, but it is a 5.56 PP3 barrel, and I picked this one up. I was gonna go with uh, a barrel that someone recommended in the comments of a, a video when I was building this rifle, but I decided to go with this just because it came across my page, and uh, I believe I picked it up at seventy-five dollars. So this is not something I would typically typically cheap out on. But I was like, why not just pick it up, see if it does well, if it's accurate or not. And that's what we did. We picked this barrel up. And moving up to the, I guess we go with the front post sight. As many should know, that this front post sight is also the, uh, the, gas, the gas block. So we, I decided to do this, try to do a little M4 style. I was like, I wasn't going, to, I wasn't going to build like an M4 style, but I was like, you know what? I need to challenge myself. I know a lot of people say these are a little tricky on installing, and I mean, it was, it was a little, it's a more tedious job of installing this. However, it's not that difficult. Um, if you guys would like, I could make a video in the future of installing this on how I did it, on how I made it easy. I've already installed. I've already done two rifles with this type of sight, and both are running perfectly fine. So this one, I believe I picked this up at 40 bucks. Yeah, I think about 40 bucks. Yeah, I don't remember. But it was about 40 bucks. Then obviously you got the Magpul handguard. Decided to go with this one right here. You know, nothing too crazy. Like I said, this is just a fun, cheap build. Now the, now the Magpul handguard. Came in, I think I picked it up at 20, $22 at a local gun shop. And uh, so yeah, got that one. Let's see, what else? Oh, well, you got the gas tube as well. The gas tube was, I think, uh, $11. And then we got this right here, the carry handle. A lot of people hate it. A lot of people love it. I honestly think it's... A great feature to the rifle makes everything look complete everything's been sighted in and everything so I definitely recommend if you're doing an M4 build definitely pick this up right here and then we got the upper receiver this I believe is a arrow precision yeah I think it's arrow precision I picked this up as a blemish product so technically they're cheaper and it could be like a little scar, a little scratch, or whatever. However, they guarantee that it, the function of it is totally fine. There shouldn't be any issues with it, and there hasn't been any issues with it. When I got it, I couldn't tell that there was a blemish on it at all. So, very happy about that. Um, I think I picked this up at about $50 for this lower receiver. And, um, and I think that covers... The upper receiver. 
like I said, nothing too crazy, nothing too expensive. Um, let's go ahead and check out the rest of the upper receiver parts, such as the bulk carrier group. This is also an air precision bulk carrier group. Um, I had this as an eight, as a spare part. I was uh, I purchased this to a to install in the pistol AR pistol build I, I did. However, this bulk carrier group did not work in it. It would not fit. I don't know. I don't know why. So that's why I never used this. I used a better one. Um, but yeah. So this is an extra one I had. I think I, when I bought this, I bought it for. I paid for. Nothing too crazy, but this is definitely something you don't want to skip out on. And so far, I mean, it's been it's, it's holding up. I haven't put too many rounds through this firearm. I think I've probably put around maybe roughly a hundred rounds only. I haven't really. I mean, I've tested it out a couple times. I've sighted it in. You know, the biggest the biggest concern I had was if I install the front close sight correctly, because like I said, this also functions as the gas block. And with the gas block, you need that to be perfectly installed. Or you're just going to have malfunctions. So yeah. There's the air precision. Bulk carrier group. And then the charging handle, which I also don't know what brand it is. This is definitely something I may be upgrading in the future. Just because I just don't like how cheap it feels. It just, it just feels, it feels good. It's aluminum. But... I'm not a big fan of it. I think I picked this one up for eighteen dollars or so. Go figure. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and pop up the lower receiver. And here we go with the lower receiver. Now this lower receiver, mo most of these gun parts that that I do with the deals and all that, most of them I order them online. But my local gun shop that I've been going to now for the last couple of months, mainly because I used to think they were overpriced just because of the name of the store, the way the, the, way the outside looked, it just looked like it was just gonna be overpriced. However, when I walked in for the first time because I was looking for a specific item, their prices were a lot better than all the other stores I've shopped at. And I realize that they also sell kits, lower receivers, upper receivers, barrels, things that you need. So I started buying parts there. This was the first part I bought there, which is the lower receiver. It was a strict lower receiver that I bought, mainly because I wanted to try and um, educate myself a little more on installing all these little tedious, tedious uh, parts on the lower receiver, because my other build let's see the AR pistol my first AR build those were I bought those as completed lower receivers this one as a full fully stripped down lower receiver this is a Palmetto State Armory lower receiver and I think I picked it up at $65 or $60 so not too bad there and for this uh, lower lower receiver part kit such as the uh, the mag release Call it the the pins here, the takeout pins, safety selector, and the other stuff over there. I picked that up at about seventy five, seventy five bucks. Yeah, I think it was seventy five bucks, and it was a little up there. I could have went cheaper if I would have just went with just regular plastic parts. These are this is an Ambi safety selector. Um, you know. Nothing too fancy, but I also don't like this ambi safety selector because it just um no nah, I just have my I don't have I don't really have a specific reason on why but I just not a big fan of it. It is a little tough, you know, if you're gonna if you're gonna be trying to take it out of fire or put putting it in a safe, but um but it gets the job done. It works, and this trigger guard right here, uh, I think I picked this up for eight dollars. Yeah, eight dollars. Now the trigger. Is just a standard AR AR-15 trigger. This trigger actually came out of my first AR build, which I also will be doing a vi video of that 
Steve. Don't know when, but I will be making a video of that. Uh, so I upgraded the trigger and the other AR build. And that trigger, I dropped it into here. So, yeah. That pretty much covered all the stock. I also upgraded the stock on my first AR build. And this stock was what it came with. However, I put a mag tool on it. Um, just because this one was extremely flimsy. And that's the main reason why I changed it out on the other one. But this one, I installed it on this uh, low receiver. Did a little, let's say a little trick to fix the water, the, the, the looseness. Just to fix the fitment problem, and uh, it worked out fine. And you got the tassel nut, which was a eight, nine dollars or so. Yeah, so that pretty much covered. I think in all total, I haven't did the correct, you know, adding and all that. Um, matter of fact, I'm actually going to start doing that right now. So yeah, it turns out the price for this low budget AR build comes out between four to five hundred dollars if my math is correct I believe it was 445 because there was a couple uh, items that uh, that I did price wrong which was one of them was this carry handle right here I think I actually paid a hundred dollars for this carry handle oh and this is carry handle is also to metal state army so that is all for this video right here um, let me know if you like this low budget AR build. Um, I will be uploading some more videos uh, here here soon about uh, of us shooting this, sending some rounds down range. But uh, yeah, let me know if you like the video. Comment down below. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for the new subscribers that are coming by. If you're not subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe already and like this video. Um, but yeah, that wraps up this video. Thanks for watching. Till next time.